how I describe myself. Uh, I'm somewhat a politician. Having been described in the Daily Mail as the voice of the irresponsible left-led anti-family, anti-Christian gay whales against the bomb coalition. I think on Instagram it says I'm short, bald, occasionally appalled. I'm increasingly middle-aged. I still like to think I'm one of the young ones in Parliament, but it's a, it's a bit of denial these days, I think. So I grew up in Dumbarton. I was a bit of a, an awkward kid. I think probably like a lot of folk before they come out, yeah, I didn't socialise a lot. A lot of the other kids at school knew I was gay before I realised it and uh, enjoyed giving me a hard time. I was uh, a bit of a sicky child, so I was in and out of York Hill Hospital quite a lot, going in in the morning and having one batch of tests and then being taken to somewhere like Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum or walk around Kelvin Grove Park here and then back to the hospital. When I first moved to Glasgow, uh, I had a, a kind of rubbish, low paid temping job. And I think uh, I made a, a fairly common mistake of moving in before the landlord gave me a contract. And so when I lost the temping job, he still wouldn't give me a contract. And so I couldn't claim housing benefit. And uh, yeah, in the end, he turned up with a group of guys and they started removing furniture from the rooms and removing doors off the hinges uh, and basically harassed me out of the place. Yeah, so over there is a, a flat that, um, that I got harassed out of by uh, a pretty, uh, pretty disreputable landlord. You know, it's one of the experiences that uh, stayed with me and reminded me to make sure that we're, we're doing what we can to strengthen things like tenants' rights. My mum was always a, a pretty strong influence politically. Uh, you know, she was a Green activist decades ago before the Greens ever got anyone elected. But it was, it was really when I came back to Glasgow after university. Got involved in an LG, LGBT youth group uh, as, a, as a volunteer. And we got thrown into the middle of the Section 28 campaign back in the first days of the Scottish Parliament. Really nasty. Uh, kind of homophobic campaign to keep this uh, uh, hangover of the Thatcher government, section, section 2A. And I was, with lots of other people, really involved in the campaign to scrap that in the, in the first session of the Scottish Parliament. And that's really what got me thinking I should do more of this, you know. The West End's got a, a bit of an image of being kind of more affluent, affluent part of, of Glasgow. Actually, it's very, very mixed. Uh, at the last election, we came second in, in Glasgow Kelvin. We think we can hopefully do better than that this time, uh, win the constituency. The, uh, the campaign that we're, that we're running this year, I think feels more relevant than it ever has before. Obviously, we've always been convinced of issues like the climate and environmental emergencies. Now that all political parties use language like that, talk about net zero, talk about a just transition. The fact that we're the ones showing how that can be made reality, putting detail on it, actually you know, means that we have something that people are ready to hear. As well, Glasgow Kelvin later this year is where the eyes of the world will be focused when the, the Global Climate Conference comes to the SEC. That's in this constituency and I think people are increasingly aware of that you know rhetoric about setting targets and then missing those targets just isn't enough uh, people do want to see action and i think increasingly people are convinced that if we take that action we'll not only protect the environment in some sort of abstract sense but it's about human well-being as well it's about building a more equal and fair and healthier society We've done so well in this last session, making a real impact. We've done so well in terms of new volunteers getting involved in the campaign. And I'm convinced that we can, we can come out of this election representing every part of Scotland. Every single region can have green MSPs. Uh, and if we can do that, this will continue to be a, a really interesting, exciting and rewarding job to do.